everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. Today's, today is day seven of my 12 days of Christmas projects, and we are using Berry Cute. This has been a really popular bundle, and I was excited to play with it again. Some of you already have it. Some of you even got my class to go kit using this bundle, but I have even more projects for you using it. Um, we're gonna make a treat box, which we'll save uh, for the second project. And the first project is kind of a simple slider card. It's a little, basically like a note card that slides into a little pocket. And uh, you can just write your message on it, or you could even attach a gift card to it if you like. It's an easy one today. All right, let me get everything moved out of the way and let's put together our card base first. Now, all the measurements are on my blog and I'm t in the process of typing up a, a PDF for all the projects. So make sure you hop over there to grab that PDF or th grab those measurements and stay tuned for that PDF at the end. <clears throat> okay, first you're gonna need a piece of crumb cake. This is like a regular card where I cut about half of it off, okay? And we're gonna take a stapler and staple it. Oh no, is my stapler not working? Well, let's see if we can get it to work. How many times do you guys go for your stapler and it doesn't work? Like more times than not, right? <laughs> I'm sure I am the same. All right, well, my stapler is not gonna behave today, so you know what, fine, no problem. We'll just use liquid glue. Stapler's a little bit easier but whatever. If it doesn't want to play today, then that's totally fine. We've got other options. Um, make sure that your adhesive is real skinny. The reason I like to use a staple is because it really um, leaves us lots of space here. You know, if your adhesive is wide, then, you know, you've created these two wide spaces and made your pocket much smaller. So hopefully with the adhesive, skinny line of adhesive there, um, we won't have that problem. All right, now I am using the uh, Berry Christmas Designer Series paper um, that coordinates with this bundle. There's a whole suite of prod products to go with the uh, Berry Cute stamp set. All right, we're gonna put that there. Um, I have cut a strip of this paper and you'll see it's different here because if you look at the Designer Series paper sheet, there's all these different patterns across in a stripe. So any of them will work. You don't want to just use the one and, you know, waste the rest of your paper. You can use all of them. They make great little borders. All right, so just a strip of that. And then um, we'll stamp the Merry Christmas. I love this font of this sentiment. And we're going to do this in real red, just on a strip of basic white. I'm going to do it towards the left side. Well, let's try that again because I didn't do a very good job. That's why cardstock has two sides, you know, so that one can be your practice side and one can be the real thing. All right, let's adhere that right there. Okay, and snip that off. All right, now, I have cut a Night of Navy mat, and this is part of the designer series paper. It's the night sky. There's a piece in the pack that has the bears along the bottom, like on icebergs. This is the top of that piece. And then we'll put our little white. This is where you can write your message or attach your gift card. All right, and then we're gonna make our cute little tag. The tag is cut from balmy blue cardstock. This die is from the Sending Cheer dies, the one we did last Friday that has a little gingerbread man on it, um, has the gift. This die, this perfect tag die is from that die set. So I've embossed it with the Snowflake Sky embossing folder. All right, now let's stamp this bear. We're not gonna use the punch for this project. The punch will punch out the other bear. But this bear, we're gonna have to use our scissors. All right, so we're gonna stamp him in memento. We don't even have to color him because he's a polar bear. And then we're gonna stamp, we need three gifts. I'm gonna do one in Night of Navy. Am I out of the screen? I've kind of boxed myself in down here. Let's clean that. And we'll stamp it again in real red. 
Okay. And then this other gift, we have a larger gift that looks like this. We're gonna stamp that in real red. All right, now we're gonna add a little bit of color to our gifts. I have Night of Navy and Real Red Stampin' Blends, and I'm just gonna color in every other stripe. Not a lot of coloring here, just a little bit of fill in. On the gift, I'm gonna take my Stampin' Blend and just add some polka dots to make it a little more cute and not so plain. Make those a little bit bigger. There we go. And then with my Knight of Navy light, I'm gonna color these stripes in. Knight of Navy is dark, very dark, but that light one works really well. All right, grab your paper snips and let's cut these out. We're gonna go across here like this on this one. This is, these are easy, rectangles are easy to cut. There's that, and then these guys. And around the bow, I'm just kind of doing a little cloud. I'm not getting real detailed into the, the little lines. We're gonna adhere this onto white paper, so I'm not worried about it. If you don't wanna fussy cut, you could just cut these. I mean, uh, stamp these on the white strip that you um, stamped the sentiment. All right, and then last, our cute little guy. He's cute. All right, now, when I fussy cut, I just stay on the outside of the black line. I go all the way around using my opposite hand to turn. Do you guys see I have a dimensional backing stuck to my scissors? <laughs> I find them everywhere, look. Ah, oh, okay, I think we're ready to put it together. We're gonna need some dimensionals. And we're gonna put him. Now there's a, a scarf stamp that you could put on, put on him, and there's a hat stamp that you could put on him if you wanted. All right, we're gonna have him sitting on the present. And then these two, I think I can use regular size dimensionals for these. Let's see. One like that. And one like that. Now we're gonna attach this with some red ribbon and I've got my hole punch here. And I'm just gonna punch a hole right in the middle I brought my skinny hole punch. I'm wondering if my ribbon is gonna go through. That's a very skinny hole. If I cut a fine point on my scissors, I bet we can do it. I mean, on my ribbon. Let's see, can we get it to go through? Oh, there we go. All right, now I'm just gonna attach this cute tag. The tag is really more just for decoration, not specifically to say anything. There we go. But you could, if you wanted to, add something else to him or to the back of the tag. And let's trim that off. How cute. How cute, I love this color combination. Balmy blue, Knight of Navy, and uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. It may not be skinny enough, my adhesive. All right, well, let's pull it apart and I'll get my stapler and fix that. It did, it did need the stapler, didn't it? All right, so there you go. There is your pull out card. A fun and easy project, a little bit different. I don't think I've ever made anything with a hang tag like that. Okay, now the second project is a 3D project that holds a little Debbie brownie cake. These are everywhere, but on um, today's blog post, I linked you to the um, little Debbie snack finder. You can enter your zip code and find exactly where they are in your area. This project uses, 
let me grab it, the largest deckled edge die. If you've gotten the deckled edge dies, you probably were surprised by how large the biggest one is. I mean, it's big. And I kind of thought, what am I gonna do with that? Well, Stampin' Up! on their Facebook page last week had a project using this, turning it into a little holder. So, I mean, I had to stop what I was doing right then and go make it because I thought it was so cute. It's really easy. Um, you're gonna need to score it. And you know, it doesn't have any straight edges. So just get it on there as straight as you can. And the first thing you're gonna do is score it at three quarters of an inch on each side. Okay, and I, to make sure this is straight, I looked over here to make sure this is lined up with these lines. And then three quarters of an inch. And then turn it this way so that those lines are horizontal. And you're gonna put a score line at two and a half and three and a fourth. All right, now before we put this together, we're actually gonna add some snowflakes and we're gonna emboss them. So let's do that just on the front side. And I'm using Versamark, so you can't really see it until I put embossing powder on it. Okay, so Versamark and then white embossing powder. Look, there's another dimensional backing. There's two in here. Let's see if I can scoop it out. I got a little trash thing over here. All right. They're everywhere. I find them on my dog, in the living room, in my closet. They're crazy. All right, let's grab the heat tool and we'll heat these up. It'll take about 15 seconds probably. Your heat tool, once it gets to the right temperature, you'll see your snowflakes turn bright white. See that? It's like magic. All right, there we go. Now, all you're gonna do is get your paper snips, which mine have traveled across, and you're gonna snip these score lines. First, let's burnish these lines, all right? Get them nice and crisp. Do I have my bone folder? Yes. Okay, and then we're just gonna snip these. Oh my gosh, come on. That's actually a half of a dimensional, not just dimensional backing. Snip and snip, and then snip and snip. And it's just gonna fold up. It's like a taco, you guys. It's like a taco shell. How cute would that be with my Taco Fiesta stamp set? I think it would be very cute. I need to do that. All right, so I'm gonna fold the little tab up to the side first. All right. And then I'm gonna take adhesive and wrap that around like that. All right, and there is your little taco box. And I mean, it can hold anything. I, I used, I put the little Debbie tree in there, but really you could, you know, put a lot of different things in there. All right, here is a mountain, a snowy mountain. This die is from something we used the other day. What was it? I'm drawing a blank. It'll be on the supply list. I'm thinking the trees, Forever Forest. All right, so there's that. Now let's make our little guy and our tree. We're gonna stamp him in Smoky Slate this time. Oh, no, that's the wrong way. We don't want him, we want this guy. We wanna use the punch today on this project. So stamp him and then I'm gonna add a scarf to him right there um, and then we need the tree and we're going to do the tree in memento black because we're going to color it with stampin blends it's a cute little cartoonish tree 
I'm gonna take my shaded spruce and I'm gonna use my light. And normally I don't use my brush tip end of my marker, but I always say on large areas, that's what the brush tip I think is for because it really covers a lot of edge, a lot of um, space. And it'll get, it'll get the, the job done faster than the bullet tip. Now I'm gonna leave this side white. We're gonna add color to it at the very end because we're gonna make it darker over here on this side. Okay, I'm just gonna go underneath and along the left side. Underneath gives you some shadow. So it's like the sun is coming from this angle on the right. All right, and we're just gonna pull that color over. We're adding layers of color each time. Okay. Now I'm gonna get over here and I'm just gonna go very lightly on this side. So we've added two layers over here, but this side's just gonna have the one layer of light color. There we go. Okay. All right. Punch. And then we'll cut out the tree. The tree has to be cut out with paper snips. And again, just stay on the outside of the black line, leaving just a little bit of a white border. And there we go. All right, the last thing you're gonna need is the sentiment banner, and this is one of our nested essential dies. I'm gonna stamp the sentiment in real red. And now we're ready to put it all together. All right, let's start with dimensionals on our trees and our bear. Okay, we've got that right there. And then we've got our little cute bear. Just walking across. And all right, I'm gonna grab a toothpick and I'm gonna put this on like this down here at the bottom. And I'm gonna kind of put that down below the mountain. Well, I may have to do this differently because my mountain seems to be a little bit higher. Let's see, maybe we'll just do it like that. And I'll take a glue dot. Do I have glue dots today? I do. Glue dot. And add this in. Let's put a glue dot right where we're sticking it and that will hold it in place. All right, and then how about some um, uh, twine, Tahitian, Tahitian tied twine. Say that real fast three times. All right, snip. And then another mini glue dot. Put that up there at the top. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Let's try that again. Can I get it off? We don't want it to cover the words. There we go. And last but not least, let's add some of these iridescent discs to our tree for decoration. Now this box, we've made it for Christmas but you definitely could do it for different times of the year, using it for different things. So don't forget the measurements for the taco box. All right, you guys, that's it. 
I hope you enjoyed today's projects. Join me tomorrow. I'll be live with three St. Nicholas projects. I've made a little bit of a change in the schedule, and we're going to do three St. Nicholas projects tomorrow for Facebook Live. Thanks, everybody. Have fun. Bye-bye.